I'm Joel Lagrippo alongside Patrick Flatley. The Quinnipiac women's ice hockey team lost by a score of 3-2 to two today in overtime against Dartmouth. They were without their captain, Melissa Samoskevich. She is practicing with the USA hockey team. How did her absence affect, affect the Bobcats play today, Pat? Oh, it's huge. Just her presence in general. I mean, she's a great player, great leader. And you saw they were missing that one piece today, and that was Sam Skevich, And that's why, in the end, they didn't come away with the victory. The Quinnipiac women's team played very sloppy on offense and defense. It seemed as though they couldn't get out of their own zone. What happened there? Just a lot of mistakes. Cass Turner said in the post-game uh, press conference that this isn't their identity. This isn't the style of play that they you know, play night in and night out. I mean, just all over the place, turnovers, shots on net from bad angles. I mean, that's what it comes down to, not getting the puck to the net from where you wanted to. Goaltender Abby Ives had three straight shutouts before tonight's game. She lets up three today, two of which were pretty sloppy goals. What happened to Abby Ives, and how can she improve next game? You know, Abby Ives has been hot recently, and today just wasn't her day. I mean, she didn't see the first goal. She didn't see the second goal with traffic in front. And the third goal was just a breakdown in the defensive zone, and she didn't have much help. And that was, you know, Cass Turner said this again in the interview that, you know, the defense wasn't there for her, and uh, the defense know it. Dartmouth won faceoffs 31 to 14 in tonight's game. Did this kill Quinnipiac? Yeah, faceoffs are a big part of the game that most people look over. I mean, if you have an offensive zone in the uh, at the end of the game, you can't set up a play, you can't get a shot on net, and that killed them in the third period for sure. Quinnipiac will take on Cornell and Colgate in two weeks after a bye week next week. For Pat Flatley, I'm Joel Agrippo. Thanks for joining us on the Rebound.